How you doing guys? Back again with another video. So in this one I wanted to take a look at a product made by Newer and this is an auto dolly. And I think this is a great, great little product, especially for mobile filmmakers. Now, if you're using a DSLR, that can be used with it as well. But as my channel's all about filming with a smartphone, I thought I'd show you some ways that you can use this little auto dolly to get some great looking shots just using your phone. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Everything I do is shot using a smartphone, no DSLRs allowed. So if that's something you're interested in, getting top quality footage just using your phone, consider subscribing. So I do apologize about my voice in this one. I'm not 100% well at the moment. I've got a poxy cold and I think every illness is possibly going at the moment. I'm catching it, so just bear with me. This little auto dolly is a great, great tool for mobile filmmaking. I'm gonna tell you why in this video. We're gonna run through the product itself, tell you some of the shortcomings that it has, but there is a few issues that I've got to work around for, so don't worry about that. So this little auto dolly is essentially a motorized slider. It's gonna allow you to get pans backwards and forwards. It's gonna allow you to do rotations around objects, and you can get really creative and great looking shots with your phone. So this product's about 60 pounds and it's off of Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description so you can go and check it out for yourselves. And essentially what made me think about purchasing this little auto dolly was, I'm trying to get some really nice looking pans for product shots and I'm trying to get a little set together at the moment. It's still a work in progress, but I wanted something that's gonna be fairly consistent. And when I'm trying to show off a product, I didn't wanna be doing too many cinematic shots. I wanted it to be quite focused on the product itself, but still getting really nice smooth looking pans. And and it just so happens that I come across this product. So I've been using it for a few weeks. So quick run through of the products itself and it actually runs on battery, so it is rechargeable. It also comes with a nice little remote and that is run on a battery as well. One of those circle type batteries that you'd find in watches. It hasn't run out on me yet and the battery life on this seems to be absolutely great. I've been using it loads lately and it just hasn't died on me, but I do just stick it on charge every now and again just to make sure that it's got the full power that I need. But as in terms of battery life for this little bad boy, it's been absolutely amazing and worth worked brilliantly. Some of the other features that you'll actually find on it is this got three speeds. Now there was a previous version I believe of this out that only had one speed but this has three different speeds like a slow, a medium and a fast. I tend to keep it on the fast mode, shoot at 4k 60 and then if I need to sort of slow the pan down in post I've got a bit of maneuverability there to be able to slow that down to the speed that I want. I also find that when it's going faster, it's a little bit smoother than when it's going slow. So that's something to bear in mind. It's also got a forward and a reverse, so it's gonna allow you to be able to go left and right pans, which is just gonna save you from having to flick the switch every time on the unit itself. So the remote itself, it starts, it stops it. It can change the speed modes via the remote, and you can also change the direction whether you want it to go left or right pan. So everything in terms of being able to control this little auto dolly, you can do directly off the remote, which is an absolute lifesaver, and it makes my life 10 times easier. Now, a couple of things to note about this is that the front wheel on the actual front here is where the motor is. So this is the wheel that's gonna turn and make it go left or right or forwards or backwards. You've also got two little wheels on the front there that you can change in a variety of directions to get different pans, different rotations, or just make it go in a straight line, forward, back, left, or right. And there's also some markings on the top of the front wheel so you can see exactly what position the wheels are to the actual base of itself. So if you wanna get those straight shots, you can line those lines up and you know that's gonna be going dead straight, left or right. It's also great to be able to get it set up once, reference those lines so that when you go to do a shot again at that rotation, you can just set it a lot quicker and a lot easier. And on the top of the auto doll itself, it comes with a quarter in mount and also a half inch threaded mount on there so you can mount different accessories to the top here one thing to note though is it does not come with a phone clamp or any type of clamp so if you're going to be using your phone with this you're going to need to buy some sort of a clamp or a rig to be able to attach it to the dolly itself so at this point you're probably thinking wow ricky this product sounds like the best thing ever and it is apart from one little thing when using a proper DSLR on it, it works absolutely fine and it gives you great, great results. Now the problem that I have found with using a smartphone on it is something called rolling shutter. Now because the sensor on our smartphones is very, very tiny, it picks up the littlest of micro jitters. I've tried this with the stabilization on and I've tried it with it off and it still picks up this little micro jitters and it looks ugly. So I found a workaround about this and I've brought a couple of 200 gram weights from iRig off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description 
down below for those as well. And essentially what I'm doing here is adding more weight to my smartphone. My smartphone's so small, so light, that that motor going across there, it picks up these tiny little shakes. Now, by adding more weight to my phone, that minimizes those shakes drastically and that gives me a really nice, smooth, lovely looking footage and it's completely solved the problem. So if you do end up purchasing one of these or something like this, so I suggest that you add a lot more weight to your rig there to be able to get those really nice stable shots. But apart from that, I've not had any other issues with this product whatsoever. It's worked absolutely brilliantly. Also, another limitation with this product is that it needs to be on a smooth surface. If there's any types of bumps or lumps or anything like that, you're not gonna get smooth looking footage. So 100% you're gonna need to be putting this or shooting this on a smooth table, a smooth floor, or even just get yourself a bit from a hardware store a plank of wood or something like that that's about 100 mil wide like that something that you fit in your backpack so if you are out and about and you want to use it you can lay that down on the ground and run the auto dolly across that wood something that's going to be smooth it doesn't have to be a piece of wood it can be anything hardware stores they sell all sorts of stuff but basically get creative have a look at a hardware store and see what's going to be in there that's going to be able to overcome and fulfill your needs but yes uh, apart from that it's a great little product it's great for getting those nice smooth pans of products when you're using your phone. And also if you're gonna be doing any sort of B-roll sequence or you're trying to film yourself but you want a bit of movement in the shot, it's also gonna work really, really great for that too. So the Auto Dolly from Newer is a great, great little product. I love using it, it's been absolutely amazing. I wanted to make a video on it just to let you guys know if you're struggling or finding it hard to be able to get those pans of products or you just want it to be a little bit more consistent with the way that your footage looks when you're doing some sort of product shots, or you're trying to film yourself, then this is the thing to go for. Well, that's it for this one, the Auto Dolly from Newer, a great, great little product. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, guys, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.